assalamu alaikum dear students today is april 17 2020 and this is our fifth lecture of week one this is your teacher afa kemal our today's topic is chapter number two patriotism as in previous lecture we have studied following topics we were done with the reading of paragraph uh, from paragraph number one till third we studied sentences and their types, simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, and compound complex sentence. We also studied sidebar comprehension. Our today's lecture is based on uh, these points. We are going to read from paragraph number 4 till paragraph number 8. We are going to do comprehension and in comprehension we are going to uh, work on question and answers and in grammar we are going to study modal verbs and later on our last topic will be punctuation first of all I am going to give you or I am going to summarize paragraph number 4 in paragraph number 4 the writer says how the spirit of patriotism keep us awake what was the stance of patriots of Pakistan during the wars of 1965 and 1971 and later on we are going to talk about the nine great patriots who sacrificed their lives and achieved the highest gallantry award in Haider. in paragraph number five patriot the writer is talking about patriotism that it is not just a feeling but it is a spirit and now he is describing that how patriotism guides a nation and at the end he is uh, telling us about uh, the words of S.W. Scott about patriotism breathe there the man with soul so dead who never to himself had said this is my own my native land and please correction there, uh, there are not eight paragraphs in this chapter but five comprehension question question answers question number one is how will you define patriotism patriotism means love for one's country um, same please go through the all the eight questions and you are supposed to write them on the register now our next topic is modal verbs we use models to show if we believe something is certain, possible or impossible. Me, my keys must be in the car. It might rain tomorrow. That cannot be Peter's coat. It is too small. We also use them to do things like talk about ability, ask permission and make requests and offers. I cannot swim. May I ask a question? Could I have some tea, please? Would you like some help? Now our last topic is punctuation. And in punctuation we all know that we put some marks such as full stop, comma and brackets used in writing to separate sentences and their elements and to clarify meaning. Punctuation, capital letters and full stops. We use capital letters to mark the beginning of a sentence and we use full stop to mark the end of a sentence. In punctuation, we also use question mark and exclamation marks. We use question marks to make a clear that we what is said is a question. And when we use a question mark, we do not use a full stop. Later on, we use commas to separate list of similar words or phrases. It is important to write in clear, simple, accurate words. Then last time, uh, in accurate words, they were more friendly, more talkative, more open than last time we met. Now this is time to tell you about your home assignment. Write down the questions, answers. On your notebook and punctuate the passage on page 19 exercise